Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How To's with Ramona. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to export your Gmail contacts into a CSV or an Excel spreadsheet. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you're logged into the Gmail account that holds the contacts that you want to export. Next, you want to go to contacts.google.com. This will bring you to a list of the contacts that are in your Gmail account. So now you may be asking me why do what I want to download these contacts. So if you do any type of email marketing for your business, you can scour through these and see if there are any contacts that are missing from your email database. Now with that, I want to say to you that emails must be permission based by law. So just make sure if you want to add any of these people to your email marketing database that you do get their permission. So, and one way to do that is to actually send them an email from your Gmail with a link to join your email list or just ask plain out asking them if they'd like to join your email list. Okay, give them a good reason though to join. You can't just say join my list because the question then becomes what's in it for me. So with that being said, now we're going to go ahead and export these contacts. Once you're in your contacts over on the left hand navigation, you'll see an export button. Click on export and this will bring you to an export contacts dialog box. On this export contacts box, you will see your contacts and the number of contacts that you have. It will give you options of how to export the file. You can do a Google CSV or an Outlook CSV, or for iPhone, you can download it as a V card. Now I'm not familiar with that, so I'm not even gonna get into that, but let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow next to the contacts just to see what your options are. Google is giving you the options to download your, your full list of contacts or your frequently contacted contacts. I'm going to go ahead and select my full list because I can always go through it and clean it up. Next, click on export. This will open a save as dialog box where you can change the name of the file which is currently named contacts. I'm going to go ahead and name it Gmail contacts 2023 and then save it on your computer wherever you're familiar with saving your documents whether it's in the downloads folder or you create a folder like I created a folder called gmail contacts 2023 and then I'm going to go ahead and click save now everyone's computer is different so yours will save in a different location than mine and then because I'm using google chrome my downloads always drop down in the bottom left hand corner here as you can see on my computer so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and open the file now when you open the file don't be alone if you don't see any content in the first rows and columns. So what you can do in the bottom right hand corner is scroll over until you see your contacts information. Now I'm not going to scroll all the way across because I don't want you to see all my phone numbers and email addresses that are on my list. But the next thing I'm going to do is because I use a Windows based PC, I'm going to go ahead and save my file as an Excel file. So click on file in the upper left hand corner if you want to do the same. Click save as and then you're going to tell it where you want to save it. I choose my computer. I'm not a OneDrive fan. Click on browse and then because I already opened it from this same location, I'm going to save it in the same folder and I'm going to click on this drop down where it says save as type. And I always save it as an Excel 97 2003 workbook because it seems like everybody can open that and that's just something that I do. Not something you have to do, but go through the list and see what you want to save your file as. And that's it. 
If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Again, this is Ramona from Social Media How To's with Ramona. As always, I want to thank you for hanging out with me. And with that, I want to say have an amazing day.